Look at this poor soul. Ah, you got to feel bad for guys like this. Having to manually look at their hoods. Pushing the prop rod. Look at that. Look at that back breaking work. Oh, I feel bad for him. If only there was an easier way to do this. Now look at this guy. This guy knows what he's doing. This guy's a winner. Saving his back and looking good at the car shows. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you saw, we are going to be adding some hood dampers to our Mazda 3. Now, as I've stated many times, Mazda's becoming this premium brand, but you can definitely see where they took some shortcuts. Like on this Mercedes right here, it's an 07. Um, gas shocks. Uh, the FJ, gas shocks, 2007. This is a 2022 and it doesn't have shocks for the hood. So we're gonna remedy that today. So I was doing some research. I did find a company called Redline Tuning and they do make a shock absorber kit for our hoods. Obviously I will leave this kit that I used in the description below for you guys to check it out and do it yourself because I feel like this is such a little mob but it's a must for this Mazda 3. So let's hop into it. All right guys, so before we get started, there's a couple tools you're gonna need for this install. One is you're gonna need a Sharpie. You're gonna need a center punch, a tape measure, some masking tape. You're gonna need a ratchet with a 12 millimeter socket, a drill with a 3 16 drill bit and most importantly you're going to need a rivet gun all right guys so the first step we're going to do is remove this top bolt right here it's a 12 millimeter that's why you need a 12 millimeter socket so now we're going to take our supplied bracket one is marked 21 is and one is marked 20. the 21 is for the driver's side the 20 is for obviously the passenger side so we're going to take our 21 since we're on the driver's side so we're just going to take our bolt that we just removed put it through here and then screw it back on. Now, before tightening it down, it says to just eyeball it just to get as vertical as possible. Then we're just gonna tighten that back down. All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is put the lower bracket on. And what we're gonna do is take our measuring tape and we are gonna measure out to 10 and 1 8 of an inch. We're gonna start right here at our hood support, make sure it's completely flush up against it. We're gonna measure out all the way out to 10.18, which is right here. Try and get the little tick right in the center, which for me is about right there. Now what we're gonna do is take our Sharpie and just mark off where we're supposed to be. Now we can take our center punch hole and start on the closest one to the camera. All right, now we're gonna take our drill and drill out our first hole. All right guys, so with our first hole drilled out, what I would recommend is have a, a, like a little vacuum on hand just to clean up these metal filaments. So with the hole drilled out, we're gonna just take our rivet, just make sure it fits in nicely, perfect. We're gonna take our bracket, remember, ball point towards the car. We're gonna take our rivet gun, Make sure you have the 3 16th adapter on your rivet gun. But first, we're gonna take some of our masking tape because this process might shift the bracket. So we'll just tape it down just a little bit real quick. So we're gonna take our rivet gun. And that is the first rivet in place. And it's not too perfectly tight. We do have some room to wiggle it around just in case it did actually get some movement, we can line it back up. Now with the first one in place, we can go ahead and start drilling out our second hole. We're gonna take our other rivet, put it in the second hole, then we're gonna put the rivet gun in, then we're gonna put our second rivet in. Now what we're gonna do is take our supplied shock and work it onto the top little nipple. Okay, once that's in place, we can go ahead and line up the second one. Obviously what you're gonna wanna do is lift up on the hood. Might be easier with another person, but I'm just one man. Boom, just like that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Once you got them both snapped into place, what we're gonna do is move on to the other side and just mirror the same steps and you're good to go, you're golden. Beautiful. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the install completed of the shock absorbers on the hood. As you can see, looks really nice, really clean. Looks like it should have came factory on the vehicle. But as we know, Mazda had to make some cuts to keep up with Mercedes in terms of quality on the interior and exterior. So this is a must-have mod that you should do to your Mazda 3. And now, if you really wanted to, you can take the prop rod out and remove it if you really wanted to, uh, you know, cause weight reduction, bro. Or you just leave it on there and just leave it in its spot. I will leave that choice up to you. But with all that said and done, I'm gonna end it here. I will see you guys in the next Mazda video. Peace out.